I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is April 17th, 2022. And in this video, I'm going to show the results of my dinosaur STL repair that I did via Fusion 360. And then I took an OpenSCAD to split it apart. Okay, for those of you who may not be aware, there is a beautiful, wonderful T-Rex skull out there. And I'll, I'll, later on, I'll show a link to it and everything and put it in the show notes. This is a great skull that was made a long time ago that I love. I, I've, had a, I've, I've taken some of these to, to the homeschool conference to give out to kids. And they love this thing because it just it's had this little built-in hinge you can put it together. It is pretty cool. Plus, there's a there's a display you can put on it too. So I have made small ones, big ones, and it is really just. If you haven't printed this out, go print this guy out. And it prints out in two pieces, and it does a great job. Now, to go over before I show to go over my end goal, I was working on this last year. I found someone who has a giant T-Rex. They took this and made a very giant version with split up. But it was a little too big for my taste. It was, it's enormous. It's really cool, and I'll show that. I wanted something more of this size. And I wanted to make it simple and easy. And my goal was, with the printables and how they're doing things now, you can upload all your um, slicer files. So my idea was to take this in as few files as makes, made sense for this size, and then put it up on printables. And then people could just go download the files and print one, print two, print three, print four and just have it work, no fight, no fuss, no muss. Uh, but then work got busy and things got out of hand. I did make this and I was working halfway through it, but I think there's some improvements I wanna do. So what I really wanna do is kind of re-slice this, re-cut it up, compare, because I'm using the same cuts that they use in the big one, and I think I wanna cut a little differently and do some different pins. So that's my ultimate goal is to make a different cut up and kind of make it this size and make it simple. So you just, you print, you know, maybe five or eight prints, and then you, and you pin, pin it all together, glue it together, and you get something this big. But by all means, if you've got a big enough printer to print this out, you can just print it out in one go. So, but as a result, I think one of the nicest ways I would like to do this is I would like to get this in such a way that I can import it into OpenSCAD so I can slice it programmatically in OpenSCAD precisely. That's my goal. Um, I, I think there's a ways to do it, and I've found some better ways, but I found one way not to do it. So I recently did a, a video showing how to, well, back up one second. If you take the file as is and you try to bring it to OpenSCAD, it'll show it. The minute you try to cut it or slice it, it will not work because the image as is is not perfect. The STL file is not perfect, and OpenSCAD has some problems with it. So I need to repair it. And I did just recently do a video showing how to repair things at, in Fusion 360. And that worked just fine. And this was my first test. Let me go repair it, and then I can split it up. But as I repaired it, it did, at least at the level I figured, I, I, wanted, to make it as, I wanted to make it the same. But it, it tended to um, reduce the fidelity. It kind of smoothed over edges and took away features. And I think I did it as best I could. But if someone else has a better way to do it, correct me. Um, in Fusion 360, I think there are better ways to do this. Maybe in Mesh Mixer, maybe in other things. I'm still exploring because I want to get this model fixed so that I can take it apart in, in OpenSCAD. But just to show you the results, from the results from that, um, which I think is the best I can do in Fusion 360, here are the teeth. These are the original, and this is the same, same size print. I just cut out this section, and you can see I got this nice detail with the teeth, and this, they're gone. They are just gone. So this is not adequate for what I want to, the end result. I want to get this end result, and the way that I've done it so far, not good enough. I can split it in, in, in OpenSCAD, but the results, a little too smooth. Now, it's not OpenSCAD's fault. OpenSCAD split it just fine, but the file that OpenSCAD could split was dumbed down so much that I kind of lost fidelity. I don't think it looks good. Okay, so that's the details. And with that now, I'll just go over some URLs and a few other endpoints. Okay, a little wrap up and a few URLs. So um, so here's a video I just recently did where I, where I did the 3D, it's called 3D Printing Fusion 360 Repairing an STL File to Use an OpenSCAD. And I thought this is the procedure I used to make the, uh, the fixed skull, if you will, so that I could use it in OpenSCAD to split it up. So this is exactly what I did, and I did see that we saw the results. It dulled it down. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to do it in Fusion 360, but 
the one nice thing is in Fusion 360 it worked consistently even though it dulled it down. So what I really want is how can I fix these models in such a way, I don't care what, pro what process it is, so I can consistently use the process and the files will turn out okay. Still exploring, I, I tried a few things in Mesh Mixer that seemed promising, but I still have to figure out some results. But if anyone knows some good ideas, I throw them out there, I, 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 wanna, I, I wanna do better. I wanna figure this out because I really wanna make this skull the way I wanna make it. Um, and also fix other you know, designs I've done before, um, or fix other designs I get from other people like this, um, uh, like this Plague Doctor statue I tried to split apart. Now, hmm. now also I think as time goes on, maybe these images uh, are getting better. Like I just downloaded some rock monster that I'm working on, and even though it's a complex shape, you know, a, a statue kind of shape, it went into OpenSCAD just fine. No fixes, no nothing, and just went through, and I split it apart, and life was grand. So am I correct, in, am I correct in thinking that as time passes by, that the, the results of uh, images like this where people are modeling, are they just making images that aren't broken as much? But I don't know. But I don't think this Plague Doctor is all that old either. So eh, I don't know. But there's that. Hmm, pondering, pondering, pondering. I want to get this done. I want to get it done right and consistently. Uh, another thing, if you're unaware, I'll put a link on, on this. This thing is from Thingiverse. This is great. This is a great thing to give to kids. They love it. It's always a hit at the homeschool conference. The kids are always over there. Dinosaurs are great, right? Um, and also, this is from 2014, so this is a spectacular design, considering, considering the age in 2014 and what they had to go with on 3D printing. We've, we've, we're a lot better now than we were then. Beautiful design. I love it. I just wish there was a fixed version of it. And now, uh, lastly, the last one I want to show real quick is this one. This is what I was. This is what I used to make the one I'm. What I'm. What you saw, the big one I made. I used the exact same thing she did. I just uh, reduced the size, so I didn't want one quite this big. I'm guessing this might be a life size one. It's so big. I'm not familiar with T Rexes to know exactly what a life size would be, but this one's just too big. It'd be. It'd be fun to print, but it's just, man. Even the one I had right there, I, I was trying to get it ready last year and, and figure it out. You know, a big one like I did, was, it's going to take a week on one printer to get it done. This one's going to take a long time. So I'm going to keep continuing on, on with this. I really want to get this, let's just call it a medium size giant T-Rex skull. I want to get it figured out to make it convenient for homeschoolers or anyone, or anyone else, really, uh, for kids. So that you can just go in there and say, you know what, I want this skull. I don't want to fiddle with it. I got an i3 Mark III or I have a Prusa Mini. Just grab the, uh, just grab the uh, G-code files from printables and just print, print, print. Um, that's the goal. And I think it would be really cool because T-Rexes or dinosaur bones are fun. They're just neat. So um, anyway. But if anyone has any ideas out there or want to, can point me in the right direction, I'm, I'm still looking. I'm still exploring. I'm still trying to find something that's... We'll fix it consistently. The march goes on. Well, anyway, with that, let's wrap it up. So just remember everyone, this is, the 3D printing is an adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and your knowledge and take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others. And you can make amazing designs like that T-Rex skull. So design it, engineer it. I am working on a rock biter from the never ending story. I found it on printables and it's put up there by user Chris1978. I am experimenting with OpenSCAD on how to hollow it out so that I can load it up with pennies and turn it into a doorstop. So expect some videos out on that in the near future once I get it all figured out.